Why is it that an actor can perform in front of thousands of random people, cry their eyes out at a moment's notice, do a million different accents and a myriad of other amazing feats, and yet if you tell them to do this one simple thing, they completely and utterly crumble. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Andrew Hurl, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm six foot six, um, I, I have an agent and, um, yeah, could I, could I start again, maybe? Um, Slates are an actor's worst nightmare. But I'm hoping by the end of this video, you'll feel much more confident approaching this often uncomfortable, but also very necessary part of being an actor. Let's begin. First of all, it's important to note that a slate isn't something we need to stress too much about. I spoke to three different casting directors to put this video together, and all of them reiterated that a slate is not that important. It's mainly just used for informational purposes. The reason I wanted to start with this is because actors often feel nervous and self-conscious in slates, as they think it will have some bearing on them landing the role. If you can remember that it isn't that important and simply just a professional exchange of information, that will take off a lot of pressure and allow you to be much more natural in your slates. More than anything with slates, you need to follow the instructions. If they've asked you to slate, they will outline what they need. Usually this will consist of a combination of name, height, location, the role you're auditioning for, and the agent or manager who represents you. They may also ask for your age, but note that in certain jurisdictions, some unions have specific rules around saying your age in a slate. So always check with your local union. Sometimes they may also require something specific, like do you have a valid driver's license or what's your passport status? Occasionally as well, they may ask for a little story or a little bit more information about you. But whatever they ask for, you will be recording it exactly as they have specified. It will really frustrate casting directors if you can't follow these basic instructions. So what is the workflow of a perfect slate? First of all, you're gonna start in a medium close-up or MCU. You'll speak directly to the camera and repeat the information that they have asked for. If no information has been provided, but they have asked for a slate, my advice is to say name, height, location, and agent. Then you have two options. If you have a camera with zoom functionality, once you've said the information, you can then zoom out like this so that we can see your whole body head to toe. Always a little bit tricky when you're six foot six like me. Now, in most self-tape rooms, this will look a little bit messy. That isn't the end of the world, but do your best to make it a fairly clean shot. Once you cut to this wide shot, you're gonna record this for three to five seconds. If they have asked for a profile, you can do that by turning to your side like this. The profile shot is generally only used in commercial auditions, and the casting directors I spoke with said you didn't really need to do this unless they specifically asked. My personal view is not to do it for film and TV, but if you are auditioning for a commercial, I would be safe and give them a profile. Now, if you don't have a zoom function, perhaps because you're shooting on a phone like me, you can just record it as a separate clip and then edit it together. If you did it this way, it would look something like this. Hey, I'm Andrew Hull. I'm Simon Manley Hall Management. I'm six foot six and based in Brisbane, Australia. Once you have filmed and edited your slate, my recommendation is that you always place it at the end of your audition. This was supported by all three of the casting directors I spoke with. Even though I said a slate is purely about information and not that important, is there anything that we can do to improve our slates? Absolutely. I see so many actors do really weird and awkward stuff in their slates. This usually falls into two camps. One is that they do too much, adding in silly jokes and just being a little bit too creative or they're so withdrawn and indifferent that they come across as just being either super nervous or a little bit too cool, which are two qualities you don't wanna show in an audition. So there are two important things to think about. The first is that they wanna see that you're a confident professional actor and that they can trust you with the role. So in your slates, you wanna come across as someone who is confident and comfortable in their own skin. This simply means speaking on voice, no mumbling, standing tall and backing yourself. You don't need to be Tony Robbins, but you wanna be genuine, present, and engaged with the camera. If you find this difficult, which many actors do, just practice it again and again. It will feel super awkward and uncomfortable to begin with, but the more you do it, the more natural it will become. The second tip is to think about what you have just auditioned for. Though this is a very small part of your audition, it's another interaction between you and the casting director. 
It would be my suggestion to think about the tone of what you've auditioned for and to integrate that subtly into your slate, particularly for commercial auditions where they pretty much always want a warm and friendly actor. Showing a hint of that in your slate can help to support what you did in the original audition. Conversely, if you're auditioning for a brooding, menacing character, I wouldn't really recommend filming a bright, bubbly slate. It's not the end of the world if you do, but it just kind of instills a bit of confusion. Now, you don't want to be fake here, but I think matching your energy in the slate ever so slightly to the brief will help to solidify you as an appropriate candidate for the role. One really common question is around accents. Do you slate in the accent of the character or your own natural accent? This is mainly of interest for actors who are auditioning internationally, and unfortunately, no casting director had a set answer. However, after pressing them for a definitive response, they generally said if they had to choose, they probably would recommend staying in the accent. The reason is that otherwise it gives the casting director or creative team one more chance to think that you might not be suitable. On this point, however, each casting director will be different. And from my research, this seemed to be a hotly debated topic. My advice is to use your own discretion and do whatever feels right for you. For some auditions, you may feel it'd be more beneficial to stay in the accent of the character. And for other auditions, you may wanna come back to your natural accent. Now, for more amazing tips and advice on auditioning, definitely go and check out this video. It's absolutely awesome and should be really, really helpful. And we'll see you on the next one.